Oh my god, my fan was on the whole time! <laughs> so? <laughs> my fan was on the whole time. So you're gonna hear that. And I'm not refilming that. <laughs> oh, ignore it. From here on out, it'll be off. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my easy, glowy summer makeup look. So basically these are things that I like to use during the warmer seasons because it's just nobody wants a full face of heavy makeup on when they're out in the sun or they're at the beach. I mean, maybe some people do, that's fine. I just don't prefer it. I would rather have a more lightweight, more glowy, more dewy situation if I'm going to the beach or outside in general, just cause I feel like it feels less melty. Does that make sense? Probably not. It's okay, it's fine, it'll be off. So I just, I'm trying something new with the lighting situation. So just make sure and let me know what your thoughts are. If you absolutely hate it, I can change it. But if you could like let it slide, cause I kind of like it. Like I just feel like you can really see my true skin tone where, cause I always tell people like, oh, I'm tan this or whatever. And then they're looking at me on YouTube and they're like, bitch, you look pale. It's cause it washes me out. So I was like, I'm just gonna do my ring light. I'm gonna take the studio lights out and just do my ring light. I just also feel like it's just more calm. I'm not more calm. Like, I'm definitely like, meh, that's who I am. But the scenery is more calm. Okay, it's like five minutes. We need to get into this. So I'm going into my brows, like I said. Don't know why I did my primer. And this is the Benefit Brow 24-hour brow setter. I thought it said shitter. <laughs> um, so... I'm going in with this because I've tried the NYX gel, eyebrow gel, and the ABH brow freeze. And I just don't like any of them. This one really, really, really sets my brows. And I have pretty sparse brows. So sometimes it's hard to get them to set the way that I want. So this really, really does that for me. And it has a flat on it, like it's a comb but it's also flat, so I don't need to get something else to flatten it. This brow, for whatever reason, does not like to do what it's supposed to do like this brow does. And I'm not filling. I am going to basically figure out like the sparse areas and just kind of give them a little voomph, but I'm not like filling in my whole brow. I just find that my dip brow is better than any of the pens I've used lately. It gives me less of like that individual hair streak and more of like a fill like I just like to fill it just enough to be like oh it's filled and then move on okay so now I'm going into the ABH brow gel and this is the colorful brow gel brow tint I don't know it's not the clear one it's in dark brown and I just kind of proof up anything that is not how I want it oh they look fluffy they actually don't look too bad once I do that. All right, so today for the face, I am going in with the new Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. And this is the Multi-Dew Skin Tint. And I got the shade Light Medium, which now with the sun and me being a little bit more tan, I'm hoping. Apparently they say, they say that this goes like for a range of colors. So if you go on the website, like it tells you like what sh range of skin tones this one would be good for, but I think they only launched like 12 of them. So let's see, directions, wear alone for an all over healthy glow, apply to the center of the face and blend outward, add to your favorite foundation for a booster, dewy glow, healthy looking skin, fragrance free. I really enjoy the Fenty skin tint. So I'm hoping that this is a lot like that because that's like one of my favorite things to use right now. And I go in with my fingers and then kind of calm it down with a beauty blender. So let's see, that's what it looks like, okay. So with the Fenty, I do like to use my fingers just because it's like a, more of a skin tint than it is foundation. Usually with foundation, I would use my makeup brush and then go over it with the beauty blender. This, I like to use my fingertips and then go over it with the beauty. Look at my skin. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see this? Are we sure this isn't like the Auric cosmetic situation where it's just like a luminizer? Like, is this, is this supposed to be like a foundation? It doesn't, I will say it does not give me a lot of coverage, but it gives me a lot of glowy it's it's a lot of glowy 
So I'm just going to go in up here with my brush to see if like it changes the coverage if I use the brush just to kind of see if it's how buildable it is. So I definitely feel like I get more coverage that way. I don't think this is my shade. I think to be fair, I've been out in the sun since I've ordered this. So this is probably going to be more of my winter shade than my summer shade. But it said it covers like hella shades with one. I don't know. It's not too bad. Like looking here. Looking at the camera, at the monitor, it definitely looks like it's a little bit light, but looking at my cam or my mirror, it definitely looks like it's nice. I'm just trying to see coverage. So I don't really have any on my neck. So yeah, I guess it is kind of like perfectly my skin tone, which is strange. So now after I do that, I just like to go in with a wet beauty blender and just really stamp in that product. I don't feel as though I'm getting foundation coverage. Like I don't think it's hiding any of my redness, none of my freckles. So I don't know if you have like if you're looking for a little bit of a coverage. The Fenty Skin Taint, like that's the thing that I love. It's very dewy but it also gives me a decent coverage where I don't feel like this one gives me any coverage. It honestly reminds me of the art cosmetic stuff. So I'm gonna try to build it up and see if I can get a little bit more coverage out of this. So I love how dewy it makes my skin look, like for sure. But I will say it's kind of ever since like I've put it on my face, like right around here is kind of starting to get really itchy. And uh, like around here. And I don't really think it's my eczema. I think that uh, it's irritating my skin. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let's just let's calm down. Let's Calm down. So I'm gonna go into setting powder now. When I do a super dewy summery vibe, I do not use regular setting powder. If you have oily skin and you have to set, then go ahead. That's totally, you know, a need for your skin. But I don't really have that concern. So what I like to do is I like to go into the Jaclyn Mood Light, which is like the luminous one. And I like to place that all over, which I don't know that I'm going to want to do that <laughs> with the amount. Okay, so it's starting to tone down a little, I feel like. So let's see. Let's see if we can tone it down. So what I like to do is I like to go all over and use this as a setting powder. Whenever I do a super dewy luminous summer, I like to tone it down with this one, but it doesn't give me that dryness that a setting powder does. And I also do not use concealer if you notice that. Now you're obviously more than welcome to use a concealer, but I try when I'm doing like these super easy luminous summer looks not to cake too much product on if that makes sense at all. I actually love it with that powder. I actually, it's growing on to me. It is oxidizing just a little bit. So we're gonna see, we're gonna keep an eye on that, but the darker it's gotten, the kind of better it looks with my skin. So the next thing I'm gonna do is bronzer and I like to go in with a kind of glowy radiant bronzer and I also got the Glowish Soft Radiant Bronzing Powder. So I'm gonna go in with that and this is in the shade Medium. Ooh, that looks really nice. So I'm gonna go in with this one to make it like just like a lightweight. So, okay. And then I will just bronze my cheeks. Hmm, was this color too light? Because I see nothing. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna try again. I mean, I know it's supposed to be, like, lightweight, but where's my bronzer? Okay, so I do see it starting to come in just a little bit. I just wish it was a little bit more. So I like to look super bronze during the summer. I feel like this could be an all over setting powder for me. Like it's starting to matte down over here, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, but it's like perfectly my skin tone that I'm not getting like the bronze vibes. I'm getting like a very radiant setting powder. Pixie on the Glow Blush. These are tinted moisture stick. These are going to be super amazing for the no makeup makeup. Throw in your beach bag, ready to go. Give you some shimmery, beautiful color. And I got it in the shade Juicy, which is an orange. And then I got it in the shade Floor. Flu? Floor? F-L-E-U-R. I can't pronounce that. Which is a pink. And then I got Ruby, which is a red. I do 
go more towards this one most of the time because if you guys know me one I love blush and two I love an orange blush I don't know what it is against my skin tone it's just fantastic so I used these other day going to my cookout and I loved them absolutely loved them I think they're amazing on the skin so this was the one I used the other day you get like so much like so much is in here you get a lot of it and you can so when I have no makeup on I like to just swipe it across my face with the stick but when I have makeup on like I do now I'll put it on my hand and then I use a beauty blender to pick it up and then I just tap it on my face for just a subtle look or you can just go like this too but I try not to do that too much because it'll come off pretty pigmented and it just gives me such a hint of oh my gosh this whole look is about to be just dewy but when I have no makeup on I love these more like they just look so good on my natural skin and it gives it such a glow but also giving that color and more dimension to my face without having to add all kinds of makeup and stuff on when I just want to go to the beach and live my life but like I also don't want to look like I'm dead so oh the color you know i love the blush and we're gonna put some here uh -huh, uh -huh. it just gives your face so much color and dimension and dewiness like my skin dry skin hell we don't know her so i love these so much the only one i don't care so much for is this one just because like I am a little bit more tan so it's kind of kind of kind of super light so I'm gonna keep it for winter because I just got them so I don't know that it will you know how it will look so I'm gonna keep it for winter and see if it looks good with my winter skin tone if not then I will hand it off to my girls I think I'm gonna skip highlighter <laughs> So I don't think I really need it. I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Sheer Stick and it is in the shade Wild Peach. And it's like basically a tinted balm. It is a lipstick cause it shows color, but, and it is pigmented. So I just like to use this cause it's so nice. So sheer, so it's not heavy and moisturizing. Gives me lots of color. And I feel like if it's too bright, cause this is very pigmented lipstick. I'll go like this and just take some of it off so it's like a or if I really really don't want anything crazy is kind of do that or you can do it like on a makeup eraser or whatever so it just has the color and it kind of stains your lips and then I'll go in with a clear gloss and just go right over that I want to give it like a popsicle look to your lips like not actual color just enough to kind of like so this is the eyeshadow palette we're using this is creamsicle and this is from ColourPop. it's one of their quads i feel like this will really go with the blush and the lip that i decided to use and i'm gonna go all over the lid and a little bit up with this color right here which is i'm gonna hope to say dreamful but i honestly have no idea because none of these ever make any sense to me so just like I literally want to just put this color in the crease and up and then on the lid. This is about to be the easiest eyeshadow ever and this is what I do on a regular. So again I'm just going in with that color bringing it up just enough to blend out of my hood like that. Nothing crazy and then putting it all over the lid and again this you could go in with your finger and just place this color right on the lid and up. This is how simple this is and I love these quads for this. So I'm going in with that lighter pink and I'm going to tap it out because I don't want anything crazy and I'm just kind of like we're going to try to get this color to blend out just a little bit. Okay loving that and now I'm going to go underneath with that same light orange. Or I think it's more of like a coral. So now I'm going to go in with this darker shimmer on my finger and place that on my lid. All over on the lid and a little bit up because I have hooded eyes so mine will get up there anyway. These are so nice. Look at that. Like I'm in love and I'm just gonna blend that shimmer up just a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh but that's what I'm saying like it's literally that simple and then I do want to go in my inner corner or and pop this lighter color right here on the inner corner I always do my inner corner just because I feel like that gives more of a to any look oh the reason that I really love doing this, especially with these quads, is because I feel like it gives it such a glassy, 
wet look which goes with the rest of the look like it's very like just shiny but just you could place it crazy and it doesn't have to be like oh my god that definitely looks like you just place that there in two seconds no so as long as you buff out what you need to to make sure it's cohesive and nice and then you just place that shimmer like wherever and I'm not kidding this literally takes me minutes and I have uh, probably six of these I think it's five or six that I have and they're all different colors all different shades these are literally everything I did not think that I would use these as much as I do but th fast fast the fastest like I literally will use all four shades which I didn't think that I would do either I'm trying to find my mascara but I honestly feel like I use all four shades every time so the lightest shimmer always goes in the inner corner and I do it exactly the same like I'm sure I could do like more of a glamorous look with them and if you guys want to see more of a glamorous look I will get it for you but I just love the simplicity of that eyeshadow palette and they're really inexpensive. I'm pretty sure they're like nine bucks. I could be wrong. I will put it across the screen. It might be cheaper than that. But they are so nice. Now this is the step where you can either go with just mascara, which is what I do most of the time, or you can go with like a very light demi wispy or wispy lash. You don't wanna go too crazy with a lash because it's going to really consume the whole look on your eye and it's also going to make it more glamorous. Does that make sense? Where it's going to be less like, oh, I kind of like just threw this on looking glam to more like full glam. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm going to use a lash. So I am going to go in with some Demi Wispy lashes just to like, look how thin they are. Like they are the thinnest lashes that you could possibly find. And I say that just because again, you don't really want to take away from the simplicity of this look. But this is definitely like my go-to easy glowy look. I use a skin tint and again it does not have to be the Huda one. That's just the new one that I have. Usually I will use the Fenty one because it is my favorite. You don't have to put bronzer on if you want but I'm kind of glad I did because now that I see it like if I scoot back a little it does definitely show more bronzy. Like I look so summer ready <laughs> i love this look so i feel like this look turned out really really well i think it's easy to achieve anybody at any level of makeup can really do this now you can put on a setting spray and i did grab this because i thought i was going to use more powder than i did but i'm not going to put this on because it is really dewy and i feel like my face is already really dewy i'm overdoing the dewy i love the blush it's my favorite I feel like, look at me. Look at my shirt and my earrings. Like I just feel very monochromatic situation. So we tried some new products today. I showed you guys my quick, I know it doesn't seem quick, but honestly, if you're not talking and explaining this to people, it is really quick. This takes me at max 15 minutes to do when I'm not doing it on camera. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope you enjoyed this easy, glowy summer makeup look. I hope you liked seeing me kind of do first impressions of some new products I have. As always guys, make sure you hit that like button if you did like this video make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do new beauty videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those and i will see you guys on the next one bye